Now, a hidden camera deep in the hill forests of northern Myanmar has revealed a wealth of wildlife in the last remaining wilderness, as it's known, in Southeast Asia. Yeah, WWF's camera captured at least 31 mammals, most of which are endangered and vulnerable to extinction. Yeah. Well, wildlife technical advisor Nikki Rust is with us now. Uh, this is really good news, isn't it? Um, this was using a camera trap, so there were no humans there, which meant you were able to capture these animals completely unaware of what was going on in terms of footage. What did you find? We found loads of interesting species, including tigers, leopards, Asian elephants. But in fact, there were actually people in the surrounding areas, which is great news that it seems that people are being able to coexist with wildlife. The pictures did also capture some, predator, uh, some poachers in the area, though. So whilst we found this lovely wildlife haven, they are under threat by poachers. So we need to make sure that we definitely ramp up our um, conservation efforts there to make sure that they'll survive. But was it a surprise to find so many species that, that were that a were, uh, threat at risk? I think altogether? it was. Yeah, probably it was a little bit of a surprise. Um, but the area has been kind of uncontactable for a while now because of the political sensitivities in the area. Mm. So it's partly because people haven't been going there, and particularly researchers, but now that we've found these wonderful species, um, because the, the country is developing, um, there are other similar threats in Southeast Asia where when a country develops, we get threats from agriculture, from mining and illegal wildlife trade. So we do need to make sure that this area is protected. How seriously is Myanmar taking its wildlife? I mean, very often it's low on the priority list for countries when they're coming out of, as you say, a period of political conflict and also wanting to develop. Are they on board with trying to protect what they've got? Most definitely. And WWF um, opened up an office there in 2014. Um, it seems like there's lots of interest in protecting the wildlife. Of course, people do benefit from wildlife and conservation only works when people can benefit. So I think the government is very interested in making sure that we do protect this area uh, with the help from um, governments around the surrounding places and also from other conservation organisations. All right, look, you, you find all these animals, you know they're there. What now? What, what do you actually do now? Well, I think what is really important, now that we've found poachers in the area, that we do make sure that the area is protected. So we've got to make sure that there's better enfor enforcement and that we're training rangers. But do you have the power to do that? Yes, we do. So WWF work very closely with governments in every country that we work, and we're also very keen on working with the lo local communities. So we'll go and um, speak with the lo local communities. We can train them to be local rangers to make sure that they definitely do benefit from wildlife. So is is this a, a park, as it were, or is this just an area that's kind of not particularly habitual, you know, has low density population at the moment? And you, you know, what are they going to be patrolling? Um, it is a low density uh, population area, it's on the border with um, Thailand. But it would be great if we could have some um, stricter regulations there to make sure that the area definitely is protected and, you know, these poachers aren't coming in because illegal wildlife trade is an issue. It's the fourth largest illegal trade in the world. Each year it seems like it profits about £15 billion. Wow. So it's becoming more of an issue and we really do need to make sure that it's not an issue in this area. Mm. All right, here's my question for you. What's a wildlife technical advisor? Because <laughs> we often we throw these titles out yeah. when we introduce people. And I just I thought with yours, what is that? <laughs> well, I advise on technical issues around wildlife. So one of the things that I work on is illegal wildlife trade. Um, we've got um, the government uh, of the UK will be having a big conference next year on illegal wildlife trade so one of my roles is helping to um, work with this and make sure that the government our uk government are on track and um, helping to make sure that the rest of the world are leading the way to beat this terrible you see, crime i was thinking about the, the, because there's so much money in, in in the trade is there any way to to take the money out of it rather than just ban it or bar it or try and do you actually take the money out of it because what earth are people doing is it all just about pelts or is it chinese medicines or yeah it, it's both of those also the bushmeat trade as well right. so um it could be in this area that people are going into the forests and um taking animals to eat but equally because it's um in a very high risk area it's near um places like china where there is severe problems with the traditional Chinese medicine and people using these animals, you know, for certain medicinal purposes, none of which work, by the way. No, no, so no. 
you know, it, it's a big, big concern for us. Mm. Well, look, so it's fascinating, and the pictures, stunning. Nikki, really good to see yeah, you. Yeah, thank you, thank very, you much. very much indeed. Um, Naz, weather, what is